Douglas County Attorney's Office is releasing new information today about the officer involved shooting near Garfield back in February. Joe Nelson joins us live with more. Joe? Lori, a new report released by the Douglas County Attorney today says that the shooting that landed 31-year-old Jonathan Benson in the hospital with several gunshot wounds was determined appropriate based on the findings from the Bureau of Criminal Apprehension. But Benson's friend who was there that night says he disagrees. I see absolutely uh, no evidence that the officers um, somehow uh, engaged in some sort of wrongdoing. Uh, it appears that, that their use of force was justified. Following months of investigation, the Douglas County Attorney's Office has determined gunshots fired at 31-year-old Jonathan Benson were necessary because officers believed they were in immediate danger. On February 6th, officers were called to Benson's Garfield home to remove Aaron Cook and Shannon Porter from the property. Benson's mother, Frances, said the two had been staying at the house since Thanksgiving, but that Jonathan wanted them to leave and was threatening them with a gun. Cook says he was unable to leave because his van was stuck in the snow when officers arrived. He was just uh, very intent on us leaving at that moment, so um, that was what we were trying to do at that time and I guess uh, law enforcement was called on that on us to leave at that time. Officers found Benson still holding the gun. He was non-cooperative, uh, wouldn't follow uh, what they were asking him to do which were very simple things to ensure their own safety. An officer believed that the gun was being uh, pointed at him and that's what resulted in in the shooting. They were telling him orders which then followed by gunfire. Authorities say after two rounds were shot, Benson was hit in the neck and shoulder areas and was brought to the St. Cloud Hospital to treat his gunshot wounds. His gun was found to have one live bullet in its chamber and a full magazine with the safety off. Benson was released from the hospital the next week and is now facing three felony assault charges, including two assaults on Cook and Porter, but Cook says that didn't happen. There was no threat. Uh, he never uh, threatened me or, or, or pointed a gun at me. Although County Attorney Chad Larson determined the shooting was justified, Cook says the amount of rounds shot at Benson was excessive. They were definitely shooting to kill. Um, the rounds that were fired from the deputies, uh, I believe, were, were very extensive. Um, and uh, in, in my mind, uh, without uh, uh, gunfire pointing towards them, I, I really don't believe that they should have took that force. Benson's next court date is set for July 14th. Reporting live, Joe Nelson, KSAX Eyewitness News. Hey, the felon! How you doing, Mr. Felon? Gary, here's your buddy. No, see, I'm here on legitimate business. I'm talking to this individual. You have an appointment? I don't need an appointment. Uh, you're trembling. Are you that scared? See, because I'm here on legitimate business. You can leave. Do you want to call the cops? See, because I'm talking to this individual right here. Okay? You're interrupting my conversation. What? Listen to me. I am listening to you, and I'm just ignoring you, too. Then you can leave. Oh, no, because I'm listening. You can, I'm if you want to talk right like an adult, you set up an appointment. You don't bring in cameras or dolls or anything else. Oh, is that the, what you're going to try and pull on me, Chad? I'm not scared of you. Are yeah. you going to send a swat to me, Matt? Go ahead. You think I'm scared about the cops coming up? I'm not. Remember, you sent a SWAT team after me? I'm not scared. You're a convicted felon. You can't have guns, Terry. Oh, you're a felon too, Chad. Yeah, so perjure. the Todd County jail. Weapons even. Clear Unreal. Precise, County attorney, Chris Carpen, was involved in the case. So they said they'd take it under advisement. They refused to give me an answer, kind of like your secretary here. Okay? So all I want to know is an answer. So I'm here today to find out what the answer is. What did they do? Did they hire a separate counsel? I don't you guys can leave now. No, see, I'm here on legitimate business. I'm talking to this individual. Do you have an appointment? I don't need an appointment. Uh, you're trembling. Are you that scared? See, because I'm here on legitimate business. You, you can wanna, leave. Do you want to call the cop? Fine. Yeah. See, because I'm you? talking to this individual right here. Okay? You're interrupting my conversation. You know what? what? Listen to me. I am listening to you, and I'm just ignoring you, too. Okay, then you can leave. 
Oh, no, because I'm listening. I'm talking to this person right here. If you want to talk like an adult, you set up an appointment. You don't bring in cameras or dolls or anything else. Oh, is that the, what you're going to try and pull on me, Chad? I'm not scared of you. Send a, are you going to send a SWAT team after me? Go ahead. Do you think I'm scared about the cops coming up? I'm not. Remember, you sent a SWAT team after me? I'm not scared of the you're SWAT team. You're a convicted team. felon. You can't have guns, Terry. Oh, you're a felon too, Chad. Remember, he sent the weapon into the Todd County Jail. Clear, precise, and unquestionable evidence, Chad. Oh, no. See you later. to seek legal counsel, okay? okay? So I asked him, are you going to ask counsel of Chris Carpet, who was sitting right there? Of course, he was, mine was still P's and Q's because he had a criminal defamation complaint against him, so he's really nice that day, okay? So then I was asking them if they were going to hire separate legal counsel because the county attorney, Chris Carpet, was involved in the case. So they said they'd take it under advisement and they refused to give me an answer, kind of like your secretary here, okay? So all I want to know is an answer. So hey, I'm here the to felon. find out what the answer is. What did they do? How are you they doing, Mr. Felon? Here, here's your body. No, see, I'm here on legitimate business. I'm talking to this individual. Do you have an appointment? I don't need an appointment. Uh, uh, you're trembling. Are you that scared? See, because I'm here on legitimate business. You, you can wanna, leave. If you want to call the cops, fine. See, I'm talking to this individual right here, okay? You're interrupting my conversation. You know what? what? Listen to me. I am listening to you, and I'm just ignoring you, too. Okay, then you can leave. Oh, no, because I'm listening. You can, I'm if you want to right talk here. like an adult, you set up an appointment. You don't bring in cameras or dolls or anything else. Oh, is that the, what you're going to try and pull on me, Chad? I'm not scared of you. Send yeah, a, are you going to send a SWAT team after me? Go ahead. You think I'm scared about the cops coming up? I'm not. Remember, you sent a SWAT team oh, after me? I'm not scared of you. You're a convicted team. felon. You can't have guns, Terry. Oh, you're a felon too, Chad. We're going to send a weapon into the Todd County jail. Weapons, even. Clear, Unreal. precise, and unquestionable <laughs> evidence. Then you Jeff. harbored it, didn't you? Oh, no. See you later.